Are you looking for the best dark chocolate brand? I've been doing a series of videos on here taste testing a whole bunch of different dark chocolates because I really like dark chocolate. I think it's really good for you too with all the polyphenols in it. And so I got another one here that I wanna do a taste test on with you guys today. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like using and have and eat because they're delicious. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So I've tried about four or five dark chocolates now, and I went to the store the other day. And while I was at the store, they were having some kind of like promotion, sale, something or another going on. It was like an event going on. And uh, I, I was just going to get some milk. So I was got my milk and I went to the checkout counter and the guy checked me out and he was like, hey man, you didn't get a free chocolate right over there. And I was like, Really? Thank you so much. So I ended up picking up the dark chocolate that they had. There was a bunch of different variety, uh, different flavors that you could get. And I, of course, went with the dark chocolate. One, since we're doing the series here. And two, because I love dark chocolate. And I got the organic extreme dark, dark chocolate. And this is the Natural Grocers brand. So this is actually a new store that's opened up here in our town in Lafayette, Louisiana. I'd be curious to know from you guys, have y'all ever heard of Natural grocers before. I had never heard about it until they moved, uh, until they uh, bought a building over here and, and opened up the store. And uh, I'm, I'm actually really, really liking the grocery store. It's supposed to be very um, healthy, like everything's made with non-GMO stuff and, and organic and all that type of stuff. So I've, I've been really enjoying it. It is a little bit more expensive, but uh, I'm willing to pay a little bit more for that extra health that comes with it. But this is their brand of dark chocolate there. If I can find this stuff online, I'll link it up down in the description below. You guys can go and read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. But you got uh, 16 grams of total fat here, 10 of that being saturated fat. And 40% uh, iron, it's got a lot of iron in there, that's good. Here, if you guys wanna pause the video, y'all can read those uh, nutrition facts right there and kinda get an idea of what you're getting into here. It's also uh, no artificial flavors or colors, no artificial preservatives, non-GMO, BPA-free, uh, Rainforest Alliance certified cocoa sourcing, and then they have all the ingredients here. There's a little bit of sugar in here. How much sugar is in there? Four grams of added sugars, cocoa butter, soy lectin, a little bit of soy in there. I'm not a fan of that. Some vanilla extract, and then of course chocolate liqueur from Tanzania. Tanzania, Tanzania, Tanzania. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. We're gonna open it up. Oh, okay, it's like an envelope where you slide it out. That's interesting. Oh, I guess that opens up too. All right. Again, though, man, whenever you open, I wish that chocolatiers would really uh, start paying attention to like the opening presentation of it. I mean, with this one, since it comes out, I guess I could flip it over, but I wanna be able to like open it up and then the chocolate would just be facing me but it's not. This is what we're looking at right here. Look at that chocolate. Oh man, that looks good. Okay, so as far as design on it, it just kind of has like this little modern design. It reminds me of like a sign, like a storefront sign. Like I want to write something on there. <laughs> That'd be fun if they put like little sayings on there. That'd be fun. Uh, it is the bigger kind too. This is a little bit, uh, it's a big giant square as opposed to those chunks that I, I prefer. Uh, it's Pretty thin though too, so you probably get about the same amount as those those chunks that I was talking about in the uh, strong velvety one. If y'all remember that video, I'll link it up at the end of this video if you guys want to check it out. Good break, it's broke everywhere on the edges, made a nice perfect square, so that's fantastic. I like it whenever it doesn't just kind of crumble up in front of you. Uh, this is 85% uh, dark chocolate. I'm gonna crack this in half and we'll take about a quarter of a bite here just for the taste test. I don't wanna stuff my mouth with you guys. Are you guys ready for the taste test? If I break it in the middle, it did come off a little uneven there, but that was kind of expected. If y'all are ready for this taste test, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I definitely appreciate that if you guys would hook that up for me. All right, we got our quarter piece right here. Another good, decent break there though, I gotta say. The chocolate looks really delicious. Let's make this happen. Y'all click that thumbs up button yet? Come on, do it, do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, mm, okay, got that. Mm. So it's got a nice, 
nice taste to it. It's very smooth. Um, I can taste a little bit of the sugar up in the front, that four grams of sugar that's in there. But then once it hit the back of my tongue, way back there, I could really, really taste like that dark chocolate cocoa taste, which uh, I really like. And uh, this is a really, really good uh, uh, chocolate here. Kind of remind, it's kind of like an in-between of that dark and velvety one. It was the or, uh, endangered species uh, chocolate compared in that Theo one. Y'all remember the Theo one? It's like a good in-between there. I really, really like that, actually. It's, it's got a nice, that smooth texture to it, but it's not like overpowering with the chocolate because it has that little bit of sugar in the front there. I gotta say, I'm actually quite impressed with this, being that it's just the, the grocery store brand there. Uh, if you guys wanna see some of those other chocolate video taste tests that I've done, I'm gonna put a playlist, the series that I'm doing right here. I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see you on those videos. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what's your favorite type of chocolate. And that thumbs up is always appreciated. Dad out.